Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. This is my mother-in-law, Renee. You Hi. guys have met her before. We are going thrifting and antiquing today, so we are in the Starbucks drive through line right now. Of course, gotta start somewhere. Yeah, so we usually start our thrifting and antiquing at Starbucks, and then we are gonna be going to downtown Battleground, and are we gonna, do you wanna go to the Goodwill bins? I'm up for it. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Goodwill bins first, because it's on the way. Downtown Battleground is about 25 minutes, 30 minutes north of where we live, and they have some fantastic, kind of like antique slash thrift stores and the prices are so good. So what are you looking for today? Still looking for brass candlesticks for Sarah okay. for the wedding. I'm looking for um, a hurricane lamp, which is like oh. an oil lamp. Okay. So one like I had when I was a kid. Oh, well, cool. my, my dad did. I wasn't allowed to light it. <laughs> <laughs> so more oil oil lamps for my collection. I'm th I want things for my garden. So I'm going to see if I can find like pots or um, even if they're not necessarily a pot, but there's something that I could turn into a flower pot or a garden pot. That's what we're gonna be looking for today. And I would like a souffle dish and let's get our Starbucks and we'll be back. So we got our drink and it's always a special occasion. I don't usually get Starbucks that often. So when we you know, go on these fun day adventures, it's kind of a treat to start our day off this way. So we're heading into Goodwill and I always feel like Goodwill is one of those places that- I think it, I got kale in my teeth. <laughs> we just had a, some egg bites that uh, Goodwill We'll tell you what you need when you go in there. It speaks to you. Are we gonna get a cart? We probably will need one. You know we will. I feel like if I don't get a cart. You regret it every time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I got all my plates already, my blue and white plates. Oh, good. I haven't seen that yet. No. So I'm looking for a canvas that I can paint over because I like to paint. And sometimes you can find something that's an inexpensive canvas rather than buying a new one. Oh, so that's a I'm great idea. Something that I could paint over. Yeah. So okay. I kind of look for that and something with a nice frame. Oh, smart. Yeah. So you're getting two for the price of one. Yeah. No, it's too small, but it's also it's a print. It's not oh, that is it's so cool. Only, it's only $8. Oh my goodness. It's metal and like, you have to get that, Renee. Yeah, that's beautiful. So Renee is having her first grandbaby boy Yay. in just a matter of probably three weeks or so. So that's perfect. I'm glad we got a cart. Yeah, I got to get a cart. So at the end of today's shopping session, we'll give you the whole haul that we get. So yes. it'll be fun. I think we're gonna find some good stuff. This is off to a good start. We yeah. haven't we haven't even been here for ten minutes yet. Do we need to look at baby clothes though? So cute. <laughs> it's too big though. Well, he's, but the, the, I'm saving things for him to grow into. Okay, that is so cute. Oh my goodness, no, look at this one. This looks like a little like British coat. <laughs> That's too What's cute. This is $6, is that a good price for a brand new set? It is. Zero to three months? It's made now. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Does she have enough of that size already? Well, they go through stuff, so. Do quickly. they? Oh my gosh, really look at the car hearts. Turkey roasters. So you can find these at Goodwill. Oh yeah. They're like $20, $25. I always like to look for, I found brand new turkey roasters here too. Yeah, there's one on the bottom too. It's, I think it's a little smaller. Oh, I love, anytime I find pottery. Are those shot glasses? You could put salt in them. Oh, that's true. Those are real, look. So this is where I would think if I found any flower pots. I've found some really beautiful terracotta pots at Goodwill in the past, but I've only ever seen that one time before. This is really pretty. This is from Target, I'm sure, or World Market, but I love um, barware stuff. So here's my wall. Oh, that's pretty. Well, here's a blue plate right here. I think I've got it covered. Yeah, you do. <laughs> And there's my grandma's plate too. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. I like to find a, a sad candle that's been saved for years and hasn't been burned and then we burn it. And so I'm really looking for carolers so that when I light them, they kind of would melt together. <laughs> so I have not found any, I found I find trees and things like that, but I would really like to find the carolers. But yeah, 
is a candle. That's awesome. You could say like someone saved this for years and years and didn't want to light it. Yeah. Because <laughs> look, it's got like no glitter. How much are you? Five dollars. This is where I've bought my harvest baskets. Goodwill is a great place in my area, at least, to find harvest baskets. I really liked this round one, but it wasn't super deep. You kind of want a little bit deeper of a basket when you're harvesting, but you usually at my Goodwills, you spend about four to six dollars for a basket. I was kind of thinking about getting some Christmas wrapping paper, but the price wasn't super great. It was about four dollars a roll, and I can find that on sale. I love to look at the candles. I think you can get good prices on them. They're great for fire starters or just to get ones that are a good price. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm a sucker for barware and Goodwill is a great place to find really good deals on really unique barware. And I want some margarita glasses, not these ones because they're blue, but I'm in the market for that. and. Also martini glasses, because those are the two types I don't have. I thought these were super pretty, but there were only three of them. So I want something with a little bit more interest. I mean, this is okay. I just want something, and I don't want something like, there's this cut crystal, I think that's too. So Renee is looking fancy. for old fashioned glasses, because she is into old fashions right now. I am. Yeah, and I found those two that I showed you a minute ago, but these are pretty, but they're not quite it. If only, pretty if only our last name started with P. Those are cute. First set of wheels, right? Yep. There you go. Well, I would say that was very successful for our first stop. I won't embarrass Becky by riding this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we may have found the best find of the day. I, I don't know if so. it's if it starts out this good, we have a good day ahead of us, and the the so caffeine. Excited. The caffeine's kicking in, so Woo! we're ready. We are off to the bins, which is always an adventure. If you've never been to the bins before, we have gloves, hand sanitizer, all the things we need. And we are going to be treasure hunting at the bins. Oh, by the way, can I get a refill? Can you get a <laughs> <laughs> I have it in there to give back to you, but I'd like more. And we are here. Yeah, it's funny because the parking lot is kind of empty. I think it's because of the sunshine and people are outside. Like, but Becky, what are we doing? <laughs> Why are we inside Why shopping? Why are we inside shopping? We should be outside getting some sunshine. I think I just told you it was like 60 degrees. I looked it up, it's 45, but there's no wind and it's just so sunny. It feels so nice out right now. Well, it's kind of funny because we were talking this week how you just made a lemon Oh yeah, that lemon thing, and I and I canned oranges. It's like we both obviously need some <laughs> some sunshine. <laughs> Thank you. It's time to do some surgery at the bins. You'll see when we get in there why we need gloves. We call them the Goodwill bins, but they're actually Goodwill outlets that we are at today. So this is where Goodwill brings all the items that did not sell in their regular stores they ship them here and they just dump everything into these big blue bins and there's these yellow lines on the floor and you are not allowed to touch the bins until every single bin is out and then they give you the okay and you can rifle through it it can get pretty competitive and people take this very very seriously so renee and i typically don't worry about trying to get into the bins right away I just wanted to show you kind of the full experience of what it can be like to be at the bins. So they keep the bins out for about 45 minutes and then once they've let the bins sit there, even if there's still stuff in it, they, they wheel the bins back into the back and then they ship that stuff somewhere. I have no idea where that stuff goes after it's been in these bins, but it goes somewhere. And in the meantime, while it's in the blue bins, Renee and I get to try to find some treasures. This is not for the faint of heart. This is definitely an experience. It's something that we come here knowing that you may not find something. You may find something fantastic. And I definitely have not gotten things here. And I think about them and I'm like, darn it, I should have gotten them. But it's fun. You pay per pound for 90% of the stuff in the store. And the more pounds you buy, the cheaper it is. The only thing is there are things that are marked specific prices, like this painting I think was $2, 
The couches were anywhere from $5 to $15. The tables out here were anywhere from $5 to $25. So it's it's kind of interesting. It's definitely cheaper than the Goodwills at our local Goodwills. Sometimes they think that the pricing at our Goodwills is kind of expensive. And so, you know, if you're up for a challenge, up for treasure hunting, this is kind of a fun place to be. They do sell everything here that they would sell at their traditional store. So clothes, linens, cookware, furniture, all the things. Typically, Renee and I never look through the clothes or the linens because it's overwhelming. And we just have not found that to be something we enjoy. But my sister-in-law, whenever she comes with us, she found fantastic clothes, designer clothes, name brand clothes and you pay pennies on the dollar for them guess what i found what le creuset <gasps> are you serious i am serious oh wow so you can see why that is not for the necessarily the thing to part and it is an adventure and that is why you want gloves i need to buckle my seatbelt yeah. but we found some good treasure so i'm excited to show you what we found yeah. when we get back it's really fun to be able to kind of treasure hunt i mean you have to really dig through things yeah but it's also really nice to go to the vintage stores where everything's organized and curated and it's like <laughs> oh that makes it nice so we're gonna do this is a total contrast yeah to where we're going next where we're going next is super cute super pretty but their prices are really good for mm -hmm. the experience you get and we were just talking about how thrifting is kind of cheap entertainment yeah and you find really good treasures. So off to Battleground. Yay. So we made it to Battleground. There's hardly anybody here. I think it's because like Renee said, the weather's so nice. <laughs> the first place we're gonna go to is Urban Basics. This is an antique mall and we always find good things here. So we do. let's go inside. So in downtown Battleground, I think there's what about four or five stores we like mm -hmm. to go to. Mm -hmm. And they all kind of have their different specialty so this one is an antique mall so there's little like booths where people rent out and they sell curated things some things are new some things are used and oh ooh, sorry collects this please, please no, continue no you're fine that's really cute and so you just come in here and you never know what you're gonna find last time they had quite a few aprons so if i see an apron today i'm probably gonna get one of those and other than that we just have to see what we find absolutely and she was, I think she thought I needed extra comfort because she just would not leave me alone. She was so sweet. I'm like, okay, yes, I did need some puppy love to wear today. Oh, these are pretty. These? Yes. Oh, there's a lizard on it. These are handmade. If there wasn't a lizard on it, these are really pretty. Oh, gosh, okay. I wasn't looking at that painting. <laughs> I like these yeah. for making bread. Yeah. I really like this hand pottery thing, but I don't need a lizard. You just need to have, but Lacey has a kiln. Oh, true, I could, we could make some. We should make some. You need to get my studio up and running. Oh, they're glued together. These are molds. Those are cookie molds, aren't they? Yes. Like gingerbread molds? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like this painting too. Is that pretty? I think this is a, it's a real painting. Yeah, it just doesn't have a frame, yeah. They also have a lot of handmade items in this store. Like these aprons are all handmade and they're really pretty. But we're gonna try this on. This is super cute. I normally like ones that tie in the back. Ooh, I like that with the crisscross though. Okay, okay, twirl. Twirl? Oh, that is cute. <laughs> do you want to do, do you want to do the walkway? <laughs> Going into these antique malls reminds me of my aunt. She used to love, love, love thrifting. It wasn't something that I did growing up with my, my mom. My mom's not super into it. And so I would go to these antique malls with my aunt. We would do it at the beach. We would do it in Portland. We would do it all over. And it just brings me back to just having so much fun finding the treasures because that's the thing is you just never never know what you're gonna find and if you find something you like you need to get it <laughs> because there's a couple of things in my head that I didn't 
buy because I was, you know, oh, I'm not going to spend the money, but I have them stuck in my head thinking, darn it, I should have bought those things. These were some really cool bracelets I found, but one of them didn't fit. They were two for five dollars. They were a set and one just did not fit. I love buying thrifted jewelry because you could find just such unique pieces that really are pretty affordable. Some of my most, I would consider them gaudy, but I just love big chunky gold stuff I have bought at thrift stores. These are cool, they're ceramic. My chickens lay way too many eggs for those, but I really, really like that. Me and my friends, we come shopping in downtown Battleground every, I don't know, five or six months or so. It's always interesting when I come with my different friends because what people gravitate towards because there's always so many different things to look at and see that, you know, obviously everyone has their preferences or at different stages of life. And so it's just fun to kind of see what you see and then definitely I see things that other people don't see and when I come with other people they find things that I probably wouldn't have even noticed and so it's just always fun. I totally think it would be cute to do some enamel pots to put some flowers in in the garden this year but this one is $14 so it's a little pricey so if I can find ones that are like this that are a little bit more affordable that is what I'm going to look for. Oh wow some vintage games look at this. That's cool. This store is not only a antique mall, but it's also a craft store. It's kind of like a mom and pop Michaels and they have a fabric section to it. And I was looking at these fabrics and these are a really thick cotton and it got my brain turning. We are done with the first antique shop. So now we're gonna go get some lunch, refuel, and then we're gonna go into probably my favorite store, which is Rusty Glamour. If you're ever near downtown Battleground, come to Barrel Mountain. Their food is so good and get their BLT sandwich. You will not be disappointed. We just had a really good lunch. That's our favorite place to mm -hmm. come to. Yeah. And we are now gonna go into Rusty Glamour, which is really a good, it's a good store. Yes. Yes. We're running a little bit short on time. So there's about two other places after Rusty Glamour that we really like. We just don't know if we're gonna have time to go to all of them today. We'll try. We'll try. We'll we haven't even gone in yet, and that. Oh, so cute! Thank you. Right off the bat, look at these chairs. This store is a antique mall as well, so people have booths where they sell stuff. There's new items, upcycled items, used items. They have a lot of clothes. I have purchased quite a bit of used clothes here. They, they've curated them really well. So, you know, most of the stuff here has, you know, is a higher quality. And it's just really fun to look around and see what you'll see. They also have typically really high quality furniture like this dresser is just stunning 100% wood a little out of my price range for today but it was really pretty this is a West Elm quilt that I thought was really nice as well it was $42 for a queen size West Elm quilt so you can kind of see how they have these little booths here and this bar cart I thought was so cute I'm not in the market for a bar cart, but it was $59 for it, and I thought the black and gold was really pretty. And then I found these bowls here, and I think I have this romantic vision of making bread in, in bowls that are really pretty. I have, you know, glass bowls at home, but I think I want to start investing in maybe some nicer bowls, some more, so that it, it, it'll be beautiful uh, while I make bread. Here's a, another apron I found. I guess today was the day for aprons. <laughs> this one was really cute. It was, it's hard to see because I'm wearing a black shirt, but it was one of those cross back ones as well. And then this was a leopard sweater I found. And it was funny, I was watching Real Housewives and they were saying some comment about how, you know, you're in your forties when you start buying leopard 
and I am not in my 40s, I'm 32. <laughs> and this year I've bought three leopard things and I've never owned a leopard item in my entire life. So that's kind of funny. I love that. Oh yeah. So my sister-in-law is decorating her wedding in brass candlesticks. So we're keeping our eye out for them, but this is 950. So a little bit too pricey. Those are kind of cool. I think I looked at those last time, but they were, they're expensive. They're expensive? Yeah. It's not exactly what I'm looking for yet, but it's really neat. Oh, and that then, is pretty. I had that phone. We had, we had that phone too growing up. <laughs> and the eyes moved. It's okay. <laughs> super, super productive. We got quite a few good things. We did. Got everything I would say on our list, but more than what was on our <laughs> list too. That's the way it goes, right? Yeah. Our list expanded. <laughs> exactly. And my mom is now roped into a project she doesn't know about, but I'm gonna hang out with her tonight and she's gonna figure out what this project is. So we're gonna go back to my house and we're gonna show you our haul that we got. We spent a little bit more time, I think, in Goodwill and the bins than we had anticipated. So we weren't able to go into three stores that we typically go into when we're in downtown Battleground. So that just means that we might have to come back. Yeah. I guess so. We are back with our haul. So let's go ahead and show you everything we got. We're pretty excited about what we got. So Renee, do you want to start with what you got? Yeah, sure. So we went to a couple different places. I'm super excited about this little trike for the grandkids. And so this was only $8. At That's Google. a great price. So I got this and then this little tiny silicone kind of, um, I could do egg bites in there or just like freeze, you know, garlic or little zucchini or whatever. So I'm excited about that. And that was 50 cents, right? This was, yeah, this was a red sticker. So it was only 50 cents, so that's great. So that was what I got at the first Goodwill. And then at the bins, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, this is the best thing. She saw it before I did, I so. I the Le Creuset. Um, I don't even know, is this stainless steel? Yeah. I mean, it's super heavy. It has got a lot of weight to it. Does it say what size quart, like how many quarts? It's a Dutch oh, oven. Let's see. What does it say, five, five quart? But no. Does it say on the bottom? I don't have my glasses on. What does it say inside there? Five quarts. It's dirty. <laughs> yeah, we, we have to <laughs> wash don't, it. Don't look too close. It's pretty dirty and sticky. But I'm pretty excited about that. But the thing about the bins is you pay by the pound. So I got this, this, and what else did I get? The bin? Oh, this this jumbo muffin tin. So I got those three things. And um, it was like two something a pound. So I ended up paying $13 for these three items, but this is so heavy. It is very heavy. But to me, I mean, still $13 for early crusade is pretty exciting. And then we went to, it was Rusty Glamour? No, you got this at the first place, which oh, was- Urban Basics. Yes. So I got these and these are for Sarah's wedding. So they're nice tall, just brass candlesticks. These are $15 a piece. And then this is, this is also new. But I've been wanting to get a scooper. I know Rachel from that 1870s homestead has some kind of a scooper like this. And I really wanted one because I've been doing a lot of canning and making soups. And I'm kind of addicted to fresh canning. <laughs> so be careful, friends. If you start canning, you will become addicted. Yes. But anyway, but all of this harmless fun cost under $60. That's pretty good. And then time with Becky is pricey. Oh, thank you. So that was fun. We're going to do my haul. We're gonna go over the Goodwill stuff that we got at the first Goodwill first. And I got these Carhartt overalls. And these are gonna be for my newest nephew, the first nephew on my husband's side of the family. I paid $4.99 for these cute little Carhartt overalls. So that was a good win. I also got some Asian spoons. I wanna start making pho and ramen. And this whole set of six of them were a dollar, so that was great. I got a set of measuring spoons, nothing super exciting. They were $3.99. I eventually want to have a measuring cup in all of my dry goods in my pantry so that I don't have to wash the scoop every time. I can just leave it in there. And so I've been slowly collecting these and I think I'm close to where I'll be able to have a measuring scoop in every dry good container. My favorite no-show socks are at Goodwill. They're brand new, but I just bought two packs of those. And that's what I got at the Goodwill. Then what I got at the Goodwill bins are this one tote, all the totes at the bins are a dollar. And so I paid one dollar for this and I need this for seed starting mix because the one that I used, if you watch me starting all my tomatoes and peppers and everything like that, was the bin that our ski boots go in. So I stole it to do that, 
but I'm gonna take that one, rinse it out, and it's gonna be back for my skis. And this is gonna be for my seed starting mix. So I thought that was a good price for a dollar. Always need more mixing bowls, so I got two stainless steel mixing bowls. And then Renee found this for me, which is something that I've needed, is if you do any sort of canning or pressure canning, if you want to double stack your canner, you need another, what is this called? Just a rack. Just a rack. And I only have one rack and I don't, I would have to look to see how much these are on, but I would assume they'd be like 13, 15 bucks or something. Yeah. And so I probably paid less than, I mean. Let's say 25, 25 cents. 25 cents, yeah. So that's really good that she found that for me. And then this is really fun. This is a, what is it called, a spritzer gun? And we're gonna make some cookies together with this. This is really, really old, and all the pieces are in it, along with the original recipe, and it comes with a little extra cookie dough. So <laughs> it was kind of two for the price of one on that one. So it's gonna need a really, really good clean, but it's all metal pieces, usually at Goodwill. You see them that are all plasticky. So we're gonna make some cookies together. I've always wanted to have one of these guns, but I'm glad I waited till I found an entirely metal one. And then the last thing at the bins, I got some packing saran tape. My sister and brother-in-law are moving, and so I called them and asked them if they wanted this, and she said yes. So for all of that stuff that I got at the bins, which I paid $12, I think, I did go ahead and get this floral print apron. It's a little oversized, and I think it will be really good when I'm wearing a big hoodie underneath it, because some of my other aprons, the hoodies don't fit underneath them very well. So this is definitely outside my comfort zone because it's a floral print, but I thought it was really pretty feminine, kind of cute. Very, it feels very homesteader to me, I don't know. Then I got at the same place, let me show you this next actually. This is a linen apron. It's really, really beautiful quality and I just got a bunch of flour on it because I'm making bread right now, but that's okay because it's gonna be a working apron. And because I found this one and it, the pattern is pretty straightforward, there's no special hooks or loops or anything, I thought, you know what, my mom can make this, no problem. So they also have a fabric store and I found this really heavy duty, super good quality cotton. What was the name of this cotton that you said? It's Ticking. Ticking. And it's 100% cotton and it's, it, it's just really thick. And so I'm gonna ask my mom tonight to make an apron that's the exact same style as this gray one. I'm gonna hand her both and say, mom, will you make me an apron please? And she, she'll be able to do that for me, I think. So that's what I got there. And then I did buy this really pretty uh, still life flowers. Uh, I think the pink in it and the yellow tones are just really pretty. I think I'm gonna put this in my office. You guys kind of think it's funny that I have no artwork on my walls <laughs> and I have a lot. I love original artwork and that's what this is. This Someone painted this and I, I own a lot of it. I have to actually unfollow a bunch of people on Instagram because all my money would go to original artwork. Um, and now that we have the walls painted, I'm gonna start putting artwork on the wall. Last but not least, I got this at Rusty Glamour. This is an apron as well, and it's really feminine. It's a criss back, crisscross back, like this. And you saw me try this on in the store. And it almost feels like a dress a little bit. It's got these pockets. The first one here doesn't have pockets. So I think I'm probably gonna grab this one more, but with the black, I'll have to be careful what I cook with it because, you know, flour and everything will show up really well on this one. So I'm really happy it was definitely the theme seemed to be aprons and bowls today. <laughs> Friends, thank you so much for hanging out with us today as we went thrifting and antiquing. Ba Downtown Battleground, if you live anywhere close, it's definitely something you should go check out. It's super fun. Like we mentioned earlier, there's about four stores that we typically go in that we weren't able to go in today because we have a birthday party tonight that we're going to. So, and I had to come home and make some bread. So I just threw bread in the oven right before I showed you this haul. You did not throw it in my mouth. It's no, in it's in the oven behind me. And next time, if we go, we'll make sure we hit those stores so you guys can see those. So if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see us to go back and show you the rest of the stores because we definitely missed a couple of our favorites. But that's okay. We had a great time together. If you enjoyed this video and you're new around here, please consider subscribing. 
Although I will go ahead and post some videos right up here if you want to go watch those in the meantime between now and my next upload. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Consider sharing it if you'd like to share it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.